Hey guys, I know this one's a little bit longer than usual, <laughs> a lot longer than usual in fact, but hey, you guys came through and a promise is a promise as far as I'm concerned. Could split it up into two parts. Could make you guys click two videos. <laughs> but nah, 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 if you guys are gonna come through, so will I. So enjoy. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be one of those days, huh? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? You know who it is, you know what this is, and today it's gonna get real. It's gonna get really, really real very, very quickly. Oh my god, I cannot. <laughs> I'm not sure why I agreed to do this. I'm, I'm really not. Now, last time we recruited Ophelia, the best girl, obviously, <laughs> and uh, she's gonna be useful today, I have no doubt. Probably gonna need her. Can't level her up too much, though. So that's gonna be an extra trick on top of everything else that is this next map. Now, you guys did actually tell me a few parts ago just how the prison actually works. And I think I was actually starting to explain that on the previous video as well, but I got, I think I got distracted by Elise getting that sick dodge, right? But essentially the way this works is this. Every time you try to persuade a captured unit, the amount of resources needed to bribe them decreases by one. And you can see that I've been using the arena so that I now have eight emeralds, which will be the exact amount that I need by the time this is done. I'm still gonna need one extra milk, but the arena is available right now. All I did was, oh, whoops, we gotta persuade first. Yeah, get him, Xander. I don't know, I feel like Xander would be pretty persuasive. This should probably work out, I think. Time for a chat, he says. <laughs> but at any rate, Prepare I yourself. used the arena what? You. When it was still a level 2, so I could get Good. some emeralds, and then I immediately upgraded it to level 3, so that's why I suddenly have 8 emeralds without having lost all of my rubies, you know what I mean? So that is a little trick you can use to, like, double up on your resources for one day, and that's gonna drop us low enough that- Oh, it actually dropped the milk by 2? I thought it was 1. Maybe it's semi-random, or maybe it's even percentage-based, I don't know. Again, I didn't see any concrete documentation, but that was close enough. You guys were close enough, so... We can now get Rally Man. Oh, I didn't want to do it like that, though. I wanted to... <laughs> Although, I wanted to bet milk first. So that that way I wouldn't be out like I am right now. I just know I'm going to need speed. Probably on Mozu. Because, like... Believe it or not, I think that she can double some of the Master Ninjas. One time, mind you. If she gets hit at all, that's going to stop. Which is why... Well, we'll get into that when we get into that. Yeah, I already screwed up. Hot damn, dude. Okay, so I actually have this spot where we are already all liquored up and everything. So, like, let's do that. So, yeah, Mozu can actually double the uh, dang old Master Ninjas whatnot. If I'm a little lucky. It, it really is just gonna depend. Honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know. We also did get Elise and Leo B. But I'm not bringing Leo on this next map so we can't get to the A1 anyways. Because I actually do kind of want to read this because it is sort of interesting. I, I do believe that it's to do with the whole Concubine Wars thing, like I said. So, I, I kind of want to see that. I kind of wanted to see that in-game and whatnot, see how that goes. I also see a lot of people still asking, like, what's going on with the Discord and whatnot. So, here's the thing. I I don't want to push that until I have time to sit down and actually moderate it myself. That's really the main thing about this, because it's just really not fair if I push that and expect other people to do the work for me. So, unless I personally have time to do it, then I don't feel like I should be... That I, I don't feel like I should be pushing it basically but I, I'm not gonna get rid of it either because I know that some people still do use it so I just I <laughs> I want to have more time to devote to it and I'm sure that eventually I will but for the time being it just doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense to me I'm sorry if that disappoints you but that's just kind of where I stand on that other than that though other than that we're all liquored up and ready to go I say that but that doesn't mean anything really <laughs> because it's chapter goddamn 25 Ryoma now the group defeats Hinoka's forces and then seeks Ryoma to end the war decisively. Azura guides them to the throne room's antechamber where Ryoma is waiting. Patiently. Very patiently, mind you. <laughs> this guy is a saint. What a good guy. What a good guy. Such a pretty game. I love it. <laughs> oh yeah, also, uh, <laughs> the sound will not be screwed up today. I must have sounded kind of insane talking to myself like that, because I could still hear all the sound effects and stuff. It was it was an OBS issue. It was an OBS issue, so I, I don't know what to say other than I'm sorry about that. That's not going to happen again, though. I made damn sure today that the audio would be properly captured because the map music is pretty friggin' awesome this time, so I would hate to ruin that. 
I will say that I am now very intimately familiar with each and every song in Fates because I had to, <laughs> I literally had to go back and manually edit in the appropriate song for every scene. And God, <laughs> that was tedious. I almost thought about trying to do it so that the, uh, the battle version would also play at the appropriate time, but no. No, there was no way. There was no way I could do that. That would be like a 10 hour video. At that point, I might as well have just re-recorded it, you know? Huh. Huh. This is taking too long. Where is he? Oh, don't you worry, dude. You're gonna have plenty of time to relax today. If we don't find Ryoma soon, Hiago's troops might get to him first. If that happens... Unbelievable. I wonder if he went there. No, that would be too awful. Azura? Azura, if you have any idea where he might be, now's the time to fill me in. Well... <sighs> There's a secret space in front of the throne room. You must pass by it to get to the throne. I can't think of where else he could be. He's likely planning a last stand should we make it that far. Huh? I'm not sure that we will. <laughs> oh my god. In front of the throne room. But that's where we're meeting up with the others. If you're right, we won't be able to reach him before regrouping with Father. I'm sorry. I know, I'm sorry. But things don't seem to be going our way at the moment. No. This can't be happening. If I don't find Ryoma first, they'll kill- Oh. <laughs> oh, this guy. It's almost your time, dude. I can't wait. Man, that's what I'm really waiting for. Not this map, but the map after this. Oh man, no man. <laughs> Lady Dude! Lady Azura! I see you made it here unharmed! Uh. Hello, Iago. We were able to take down the Hoshinans with few Norian casualties. Yeah, seeing his group though, that makes a lot of sense. All thanks to Great King Garon's divine strength! Father? Father actually fought? Yes. Yes, he insisted. The Hoshinan soldiers were mere babes compared to his might. Not a single enemy soldier escaped with their life. It was most glorious. We'll see all about that. How did your troops fare? Yeah, well, Camilla yeah. just smashed them. It was the same on our end, really. <laughs> they were no match for Camilla. We ran into the Princess Hinoka on the way. I took her down without hesitation. Here, take her weapon as a trophy for my latest conquest. Um, but um, psh, roll credits. <laughs> a bloody lance. Hmm. A compelling case, but I wouldn't say this counts as proof, much less a trophy. Why didn't you bring us her head instead? <laughs> well, this palace is pretty nice and I feel like the blood would just get everywhere. Uh, we're fighting a war here, Iago. Could it be? Hmm, you didn't happen to let the princess escape now, did you? No. How dare you? Iago. Iago. Uh, King Garon, what is it, my liege? Enough. That's enough. Or do you intend to discuss this trivial matter all day? Do you truly believe this small matter is more important than conquering Hoshido? However... No, my king. But if the princess did allow her to live, it might affect our campaign. Hmm. Ha! And what exactly could a little mouse like her do against my army? Even if she is alive, it would be all too easy to crush her once Hoshido is fallen. How long do you intend to make me wait over something so trifling? My sincerest apologies. My apologies. You are right as ever. Let us be on our way. Yeah, that's right. Shut the fuck up, Iago. <laughs> Don't fall behind, dude. I have my eye on you. Yes. Of course, father. <laughs> you lucked out this time, lady dude. But that's just fine. After all, from here on out, your life will be nothing but misery. Let's, let's see how you feel about that in about a week, bud. <laughs> I hope you're ready to crush the life out of Prince Ryoma. Ah, <laughs> oh, God damn it, Iago. Well, Psst, are we nearing the space you were talking about, Azura? Truly. We are. After we pass through here, we'll be in the throne room. Uh? God, is that Ryoma? Well, well, well. Here we go. You have done well so far. But that was just practice. No more games. To the death. Not a bad entrance, I won't lie. <laughs> it can't be. So you made it. That can only mean one thing. The Hoshinan army has fallen. How observant of you, Prince Ryoma. Your troops have been obliterated. Hardly anyone remains. 
Princess Sakura is our prisoner, and Prince Takumi jumped off the Great Wall in shame. I'ma kill this bitch. <laughs> now then. Oh, I almost forgot. That looks more like an arrow, if anything, doesn't it? Or am I just twigging? That definitely looks like... Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know why this reminded me of this, but apparently... <laughs> Okay, so apparently in the cutscene after you after you defeat Anoka, right? What do you guys told me that Camilla's weapon is dependent on what she has equipped? So some people have her like threatened to cut Hinoka's head off with a hammer, which is just horrifying. How the fuck? But the scariest part is, I think Camilla could do it. I think I think she could do it. I'm sorry. Anyways, Hinoka's lance. You, I swear you will pay for this. No. Oh, but sadly I wasn't who killed her. That honor goes to Lady Dude. Isn't that right, milady? Yes, it was I. What? You? I actually kind of like that, though, because Iago's totally egging Ryoma on, because he doesn't buy our story. And I mean, he's right. He's right. We definitely we need out on that. We let her ass go. But I guess in his mind, this is like a win-win, right? Get us to kill each other, right? <laughs> I assume. You killed Hinoka, our sister. Yes. No. This is madness. Do you really mean to tell me the blood on this lance is Hinoka's? Answer me, dude. Answer me. Yes. <sighs> it's it's true. I killed her. I killed Hinoka. Gods, no. You. You murdering you fiend. Me. Oh, he said it for me. Never mind. <laughs> I'm really hoping the next game has like full-on voice acting, though. Ugh. Dude. Stay out of this. Don't you dare try to stop me. This doesn't concern you. <laughs> Calm yourself, Prince Ryoma. Big brother? Ryoma, what are you? You die. No. I will have my revenge for my sister. I challenge you to a duel. I will not rest until I kill you myself, you traitorous scum. When the sun sets on this day, one of us will be dead. No one will get between me and my revenge in 20 turns. <laughs> Ryoma. I'm a little bit confused, though. Wasn't Xander right next to us a second ago? So what's stopping us? Those nice decorated screens or like... You know, I'm just going to call this a case of gameplay storyline segregation because that's the only thing that makes sense, which we'll see in a second. But it, it's it's very, very strange, to say the least. No, I won't allow it. I shall not stand idly by while you attempt to harm my sister. Soldiers, protect dude from this madman at once. No. Stand down, soldiers. Your assistance will not be necessary. <gasps> Iago, what's the meaning of this? Let me explain. If our princess is as strong as you claim, she shouldn't need any help. Or are you suggesting Lady Dude doesn't have what it takes to win? No. Her training is solid. Her instincts are true. She has all the tools she needs to prevail. <sighs> and there you have it. And there's no reason for us to intervene. Just sit back and enjoy the show, Lord Sander. Wait. Scoundrel! The man who you'd have her slay is her brother by birth. There's no guarantee her divine blade will stay true under such duress. Father, end this. Or will you stand by and watch a princess of Nor fall? Yes. Father! Father. It's useless, Lord Xander. King Garon has already approved this inevitable showdown. It may prove to be her inevitable... Okay, I, we, we've made that joke like six times. <laughs> We are both eager to see how much Lady Dude has grown with her own eyes. And if the two end up killing each other, well, lesson learned. You. If you think I will stand by and do nothing, you are grievously mistaken. What? Potion and reinforcements. Watch me work. Your trail of blood ends here, Norians. After our encounter in Mokushu, I had hoped I would never see you again. Thanks for that, by the way. On behalf of Lord Ryoma, Saizo and I will not allow you to interfere. We will have our revenge for Lady Hinoka and all the Hoshinin lives you've taken. Fascinating. You have my attention. Ready your weapons. Brother, sisters, let's take these soldiers out and go help dude. Yes. Yeah, we're on it. No problem. Shall we kill them? I will happily kill anyone who gets in the way of saving my precious sister. I'll do my best. I'll do my best, Sander, for dude. So, Leo, my man, you're not coming. 
You're not. You're, you just can't, man. You'll get rocked. Oh, no, I already have everybody in who needs to be in. Cool, cool. Yeah, I did look at this because, goddamn, if this didn't take me a minute. <laughs> not, like, too long, I guess, but, like, longer than usual, that's for damn sure. Uh, so we have dude who can't do anything because she's behind this screen which is impassable <laughs> no matter what can't just go this way nope 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 it is protected by divine dragon power if you didn't know that's actually the plot explanation uh the fact that you can't tell if i'm making that up or not is pretty telling <laughs> but we can't go through this door no matter what you can't unlock it you can't just slide it because it's a goddamn screen door <laughs> but whatever let's say it makes sense what you have to do instead is go all the way around Merc Saizo, while hopefully simultaneously murking Kagero, which will then open this door by itself. Somehow, I, do, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but that's how it works, okay? You kill them both, the door is open, then you can help dude. But, you can also just beat Ryoma. If, like, if she can do it, then you can just do that instead, because this will be defeat boss. I mean, Ryoma himself is no joke either. Uh, I could 1v1 him. I'm so sure that I could. I'm so sure that I could, but that's not what I promised you guys, is it? <laughs> it's really just not. So these ninjas, right? We already kind of said. They are bullshit because of this right here. This is ninja hell. Now, this doesn't actually exist on hard mode. I'd almost go as far as to say there's no such thing as ninja hell on hard mode. It's probably more like ninja purgatory or like ninja piffle? Ah, well, there's still the cave, right? So, hmm. So we already said these guys don't drop our strength, right? And that is going to be the key here. Now, somebody, of course, just had to be super nitpicky and be like, Oh, they have seal strength, Delta. What do you mean they're not going to... Yeah, okay, you know what? How about this? Let's see if at the end of the map, I stop one-shotting these guys. Yeah, how about that? How about that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, at any rate, they can't touch my strength. I say again, they can't touch my goddamn strength. And that means that we can one-shot them forever, basically. Now, the Spy Shuriken technically, I guess, can drop my strength by two, but that's not going to matter. It just won't. What does matter, though, is the defensive implication where you lose four defense every time they touch you. This does not happen on hard mode, so if this like, if this game looked interesting, but you're like, man, this looks like bullshit. Uh, well, for one, you're a normal person, so <laughs> that, that checks out, at least. But uh, if this doesn't look like something that you would want to deal with, just play hard mode because it's not there. Now, this side over here, this is the significantly more difficult path, in my opinion, because of this section right here, the hallway of death. This does exist on hard mode. It's just as bullshit there because there's only really a few ways around it. Now, of course, on lower difficulties, again, since you only take the debuff one time instead of every single time these guys touch you, you can, in theory, tank the point. Like, that's an... That's a legitimate option on lower difficulties here. Really, it is not because uh, there's four defense. These guys are going to drop you by two more each, I do believe. No, actually, Spy Shark can just destroy you because they drop them by five apiece. So there's minus 14 of your defense right there. And then this guy can kill you easily. This guy can kill you easily. He even has a sword catcher. I don't know why you would ever in a million years deploy any kind of sword user here for actual combat. It really just doesn't seem like a good idea. <laughs> I mean, just look at this. Look at this. Even Xander doesn't really want to... Fairness, the way he starts, he's like... I think they tank him. I think their first hit would still tank him. With an axe, anyways. At least after a rally, which we can do, because we got the goddamn rally, man. He is so good. And he's actually got weapons, because he's probably one of my better combat units somehow. How did that happen? Like, if dude were out here, okay, this would be the easiest map of all time. Because we would send Camilla to the left, dude to the right, and that would be GG. But the real trick here for us is that we can't use her. And needless to say, she's been my second powerhouse throughout the entire game. W what were they? The Kitsune? Sort of like that. The ninjas have an inherent boost to their avoid, which blows. It's a good thing this preparations music is so good, because I feel like I'm going to be hearing it a lot today. <laughs> I think I do want that, and I also want Camilla to have the dual club as well. Yeah, uh, dude's not doing crap this map. No, no, no. She needs this because I'm fairly confident. Yeah, I didn't even think of this before. Yeah, we're learning on the fly here. So 66 minus whatever they have. Oh, that's a very dead sword master. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's how we get stuff done. That's called improv right there. <laughs> beautiful sight, beautiful sight. Yeah, we want her to have that in all honesty. I didn't think of that before. Now, this is also stupidly nasty because they have lunge. 
and spy Yumi, which cannot be retaliated upon without another spy weapon, which we do not have. And they have negative, not negative chain, what the f I didn't even play the Japanese version. Uh, they have inevitable end and seal resistance. No, seal defense, my bad. So there goes six, 12 defense right there. All of these guys, so there's a nice minus what, 20 defense? And then, oh yeah, they lunge you, then that means this guy can lunge you, so they get to do it again. So you're at minus 26 defense. And if you're at minus 26 defense and you're up here, and you're somehow still not dead, you certainly will be. So yeah, these guys need to die. They need to die, and also the AI is tied to whether or not they're even alive or not. So that's something else to think about. And that's one of those intangibles that you don't really think about because you would just never know that. Like, you would never say, oh, okay, this room is tied to these guys, obviously, but it is. It is. These guys in particular, they, they, you can't, like, bait them one at a time. And that's another really big thing about this map. You really can't do baiting strategies because it just doesn't work. The game won't let you ever. Uh, I think that this entire area is tied to this guy, for example, which if you look, you'll notice that you can't attack... Uh, you can't attack this guy without being in range of this guy, which will also trigger all of this to come your way. Uh, now, these guys don't have lunch, thank God, but it's sort of it's sort of a moot point considering how badly they can just murder you. Also, basically every single ninja on this map has Poison Strike and Grizzly Wound. Not all of them, but a large number of them. At least in this hallway, they almost certainly all do. Let's see. Is there even a single one? Nope, they all do. So, what that says to me is that the game is telling you that you can't let them survive combat ever 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 <laughs> like that's the thing you you can't because then if you do you instantly die there's no two ways about it you will die if they live you just will and I think that that is perfectly fine is there anything else that needs to really be brought up not really there's Kagero and Saizo but because of the nature of this map I'm not really necessarily concerned with how long it's gonna take me to kill them per se like essentially the fact of the matter is these guys just have really high evasion so there's no real 100% way to just do it always you know what I mean because I can't I can't count on killing both Saizo and Kagero with maximum efficiency I get like it's not it's not likely it's not likely that you'll be able to do it 100% of the time I'm certainly not able to so we're gonna have to take what we can get now I have no doubt in my mind that Camilla can Probably Oko Saizo. Let's see, the threshold there would be 72 attack. Oh, that's gonna be really, really close. Can she do that? She might actually be able to. No, I think she actually hit 71. Damn, so that one extra point. Oh, but wait. I think she can, because she'll get the one from the weapon triangle. So yeah, Camilla can Oko Saizo. Cool, cool. So there's that. That's how we handle that, I suppose. Uh, theoretically, Mozu can double Kagero. It really just depends. We also sold a bunch of crap. I have like a hundred gold. I don't actually have enough to buy any more tonics, so if this is not the setup, I am probably screwed. <laughs> we also sold Odin's Forge because I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys. <laughs> I don't know what Odin is doing from now till the end of the game. I really don't, but he can still attack Stannis and crap. His pair-ups are still bonkers good, so he's coming anyways. Prince Ryoma will wait patiently for his revenge, but only for 20 turns. After that, he will begin his assault. Okay then, bud. Whatever you say, man. Wasn't he just... It's so... <sighs> what makes that kind of dumb is that he was super, super pissed in that cutscene. Understandably so. That was cool. I was on board with that. And I assume that the implication here is that he's, like, meditating before a duel or something like that. Because he's, he's like a samurai through and through, so... I understand what they were getting at, but this is just one of those things that is so stupid when you look at it in universe. I think what is supposed to be happening is just that, right, though? He's, he's sitting there meditating. This whole fight probably takes two minutes in real time, tops. Of course, it's going to take me much longer than that, but I digress. I digress. It's just one of those really funny things about it being a turn-based game like this, I guess. The Path to the Throne Room will only open when Saizo and Kagero have be both been defeated. Aye, aye. Victory, defeat the boss. And you get Thorn and You, that song from the prologue. And I, I really like this one, and it also, it feels more suitable here because this is going to be ridiculous. So we're going to start by rallying up pretty much everybody. <laughs> everybody that I can, man. We need 100% firepower. 110% of that. 
So, pair these two up because that's actually going to give at least enough room to come in and, and destroy this guy, theoretically. Uh, like I was starting to say though, the evasion on this map is like out of hand, dude. It's crazy. It's crazy. We gotta use the horse spirit here. What an amazing spell, because that's going to give us enough strength to uh, take these guys out really easily, and also it's going to let us double without having to spend any kind of money on pair-ups. Now, we did go with strength and speed in the mess hall. I think I also got defense too, which is nice, I guess. It depends on how much I'm actually getting hit, which is another big thing about this map, honestly. That's why... I've seen people recommend to get like shuriken breaker on as many people as you can, and I totally agree with that. If you have the possibility, then yeah, shuriken breaker here is fantastic. And I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys. I really can't miss on the first turn. I can miss like a sword master, and that's it. <laughs> Actually, I can miss two sword masters because, for as hard as this map is, let's not forget who Camilla is now. Let's not forget who this lady is because what we're gonna do with her is move her ass right here. Is that the spot? Might be the spot. So the safest thing to do is naturally throw her outside range for these two guys because this Swordmaster and this ninja cannot reach her if I put her here. Oh, I didn't get her with Rally Luck. I didn't get her with Rally Luck. So that's really bad. That's really bad. I mean, it would only make a difference of four accuracy, but whatever, man. I'd like her to kill some of the Swordmasters. Statistically, she, can, she should kill one. Like, on average. But, I guess you can just call me False Swipe Deltre. How good is Camilla actually? I say she's this good. I say she's so good that I can throw her out here and she will not die. <laughs> Let's test that theory. Uh, with Mozu, we want to do something like this. I'm also going to drop off Xander right behind me. Now, these two combined. This right here is the most dangerous move. I'm not sure if this is even necessary because truth be told, I don't know if these ninjas will move. I really don't. But I'm going to assume that they will, and even if they didn't, I still want to clear the way because Mozu can kill at least two ninjas pretty comfortably. Uh, after that point, it really just depends on how much she feels like getting hit, honestly. In theory, she could be the best unit I have here, but it's just going to depend. You see we have 42, 45 now. Uh, attack speed, that is. Of course, a lot of that is coming from bonuses that we can't retain, like Rally Speed and Inspiring Song. Like, we can't keep those forever, obviously. But, she is, at base, fast enough to double these guys with Odin pair up. However, if she gets hit a single time, that all goes out the window. And that is exactly why I do not recommend trying to double these guys. Because, they can't do anything to your strength, but they will destroy your speed. They're not going to destroy Mozu's speed, because she is the GOAT, but they could. They could. So, if your whole strategy is to double them, then Shuriken Breaker is sort of mandatory in a sense because... By the way, it didn't matter that Elise dodged because Dwyer is right here. I'll just rally instead. It makes no difference. Uh, but... But if doubling is your go-to move, it's really, really a lot worse because these guys can take that away from you. If another of them hits you, then you're not doubling, and then they're probably killing you. Because you didn't kill them, and they all have that really nasty, uh, grizzly wound, poison strike combo. Okay, so here's the thing with Camilla, right? Every time they hit her, she's gonna become less dodgy. And, ideally, she would dodge some of these. It doesn't have to happen. It doesn't have to happen. But, I'd really rather not have to demonstrate that fact. I'd really rather she just did. I would never hit this many 60s in a row, let me tell you that much. Now, the good thing about the shield gauge is it does actually prevent the debuff from going through. So I guess if... I guess if stat preservation is your strategy, then that's something to keep in mind. So try to build shield gauges and whatnot. But the reality is, is sooner or later they're going to hit you. Camilla, oh my god, she's actually getting hit by every single one, huh? I say she could still do it. We have Swordbreaker. We have Swordbreaker. <laughs> That is my logic. We have another shield gauge here. She got hit by every single one. That's crazy. That's so unlikely. But of course, if she gets hit by the first one, she is then more likely to get hit by the second and the third and so on and so forth. That sword breaker isn't coming through as much as you might want because of... What's the word? Is she going to get hit by everything? Oh wow, she might. That's incredible. <laughs> that is incredible. 
Camilla, you gotta hit this one, though. She should have hit. Yeah, I was gonna say, statistically, this works out. Trust me, I, I did the math. I, I think I've proven that I'm a math nerd by this point. Statistically, Camilla does not die there. I assure you, it is very heavily in my favor. Oh, Silas is dead. <laughs> Silas is dead. I, I think I do need to kill those guys, though. I actually think that I have to, because if I don't, they will move and kill me. Now, one way that I could have prevented Silas from needing to kill the first guy is trying to get God Mode on him, because then he would live, as you can see, but... It's kind of irrelevant. He just needs to not screw that up, like, really badly. And unfortunately, because ninjas get a 10 boost to their avoid or whatever, for whatever reason, don't ask me why they designed it that way, but they did, as if ninjas were not good enough. <laughs> God, this chapter is going to be a bastard. It is. It really just is. We need each other. Uh, the rest of this is working out, though. This is what we wanted to see with Dwyer, which is why we moved in there. Now, that guy can avoid a counterattack no matter what happens, which is why he just attacks Dwyer, because he does more to Dwyer than Mozu, and Mozu wouldn't die anyways. We're going to have to go back for Silas. I, I think I need to kill those ninjas. I don't think I have an alternative play. Assuming they move, I just don't, actually. God damn you, Silas. Everything else worked. He just had to be that guy. Attempt number two. This time we actually got Camilla Rally. We can almost do like a gag with how many times I will no doubt fail this. This map is just no joke. It really just is not. There's no two ways about it. It's going to take some time. She does. God damn it, Mozu. And this is exactly the problem, by the way. Like, just like that. I lost four speed. So if my whole idea was to double them, now I can't. Unless I sit around and wait. But you can't do that forever either because you have 20 turns. Like, no matter what, that's it. You only get 20. Now, in hard mode, you actually get 25. Which, again, almost seems like a moot point because there's no reason that you would really be waiting like that on hard mode. On lunatic, though, it makes perfect sense because, in theory, you could wait out the inevitable end by, like, taking it one at a time. Like, let's say I needed most of to have speed, right? I could just wait four turns and she would have it again. But... You can't even do that because Ryoma will kill dude. And really, though, the only failing of this map, I think, is the evasiveness of the enemies. I think that's really the only thing that brings it down for me. Everything else I'm totally on board with. You guys did actually tell me that if you draw Ryoma to the... There, now Camilla can't die. She can't die. But you guys are telling me if you draw Ryoma over to the curtain, right? You can actually attack him through it. And you can also rally dude through it. So I guess that's something else you could do if it came to it. Now, Silas, come on, man. Come on, man! <laughs> he has to, though. He, he literally needs to. I'm so sure that he does. Really, that has a lot to do with the fact that I haven't been milking maps for their experience and whatnot. I've just been kind of doing them. And uh, normally, if you play like that, you really, really want to be able to just kill Ryoma without playing this map. Uh, there is a silent staff and 10,000 gold on this map, which is always really nice, but... Uh, if you're not playing this map straight, honestly, you save about that much money anyways, to be perfectly honest. It certainly feels like that. So, you're kind of breaking even more so than you might think. So, in that sense, a lot of the stuff on this map is totally optional. A lot more than you might think. Let's see if Camilla will die in the third time. I really doubt it. It is very unlikely, I assure you. <laughs> What is apparently very likely, though, is Silas being a disappointment. God damn, dude. I can't believe how many they hit. There we go. God damn. Now, Silas, come on, dude. And don't you screw me now, Xander. I know you want to. I can see it in your eyes, man. You're like, oh, man, I can't wait to miss this attack. And piss Del Trey off. God damn it. <laughs> this is what you wanted, right? This is why you guys... <laughs> this is why you guys came through, right? Just to see this? Just to see me rage for, like, an hour? Oh, my God. Ah. <sighs> I thought it was 80, man! <laughs> What's going on? And Camilla didn't even die, still. She still didn't die. Like, that's... God, Silas! Camilla gets hit by every attack, still doesn't die. That's... <sighs> Meanwhile, Mozu the Beast. Okay, god damn, Silas. Why are you making Elise look like the most reliable unit in the world? That's all I want to know. And she's safe, again. Now she's really safe. Can Silas just hit an attack, please? <laughs> Actually, no, last time it was Xander, so let's be fair. It was Xander. And he's a little bit less accurate, but it's still roughly an 
according to what you guys said. Please. Please, just let me see turn two. Just just let me get that far, man. Just come on, man. Thank you. God damn. God damn, dude. So this is what's supposed to happen. Yep, this is why this is the long-awaited sequel. Oh, no fucking way! Oh, we're watching that. Oh, we are watching that. There is no way that that just happened. There's actually no way that that just... You can't be serious. Please, 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 please. <laughs> By the way, that right there is exactly why it's nigh impossible for Camilla to die here. If she dodges the first attack, she's basically always safe. Uh, if they do start to hit her, then of course it becomes worse and worse and worse because her evasion is going to tank and tank and tank. I don't even know why I'm commentating. Is this even going to... Silas, man. Thank you so much. And Mozu is yet to be hit, and Camilla has yet to die. So this is just... <laughs> God damn, dude. Okay, where's this... This, this my search. This guy. Seven, really? Come on. Oh, suck my balls, game. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> you mean to tell me I got ended by a seven? Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, yeah. How does it feel? How does it feel when it happens to you? Oh, I kind of wanted to see these because she does have like a 60-ish on these guys. Now, uh, she would have much, much higher if not for their darting blow. Or duelist blow, I mean. And you can see with the amount that we dodged this time, there was just no way. Has Camilla killed these two Swordmasters every time? Because I really wasn't counting on it. <laughs> I, was, I was counting on like maybe one. If she kills one, that's good enough. That's good enough if she kills one because then she can just kill the other one immediately. And Flora's not in range to do what she needs to do no matter what I do here because she just simply can't get close enough, honestly. The ninjas will always murder her on the first turn and there's no way for me to avoid that. Sadly. And even if I could, I don't know if I'd want to do it because I'd much prefer Camilla to just do that. I thought that was supposed to be a hard map. What's going on? It just seemed to me like I could just solo it. What happened? <laughs> yeah, our position couldn't be any better because... Oh, Ophelia did her thing, basically. That's why we have so many tomes on her, despite the fact that she's really only ever clicking... Well, actually, no, she does need at least three. She needs the gate, she needs the lightning, and she also needs the horse spirit. She needs all three. So, yeah, I guess... I guess we'd have her personal active no matter what. Now, Bozu can kill this guy, and it's gonna give her enough gauge to actually block the next ninja, which is pretty nice, because in this case, we can still potentially double them. Potentially. I'm not sure how that really plays into things. I wasn't counting on it because statistically it's in your best interest not to. Now, if you miss this Silas, animations can come back, I guess. If you miss this Silas, you are super benched after this map. I'm not even playing. You're done. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. No hard feelings. That's what I thought. Okay. So we are looking pretty good. This turn is sort of a downturn in all honesty because, again, I couldn't get close enough. What I need to do, though, is entrap both of them. And once again, it has to happen. <laughs> like, there is no alternative. They have to get entrapped. Because if not, I do not have enough characters. I just don't. At least not to do both sides at the same time. The only other alternative then would be wait for everybody to come back over to this side. Because failing to entrap these two means that I have to go through the room. I have to go through the room because I cannot let them lunge me. Because the second I get into this guy's range, somebody dies. And they will lunge me. Like, let's say he lunges me from the wall. So he hits me here. I'm over here now. This guy is going to move back. One, two, three. Lunge me again. Now I'm in this guy's range. And now I'm dead. Because I'm fighting all of this. <laughs> like, look at the situation. So the entrap staff is borderline mandatory if you're going to play this normally. Or just a bunch of free staffs. I suppose if you had a bunch of free staffs to burn... And a lot of money to go through. You could probably do it just as well. I'm actually going to have Flora heal as opposed to uh, using the Vulnerary. I should not have the Vulnerary on Camilla. <laughs> when is she ever going to hit that? She needs to do way more important things. But we can do one of those. We're actually sending Izana back this way. Because he has a free staff and Dwyer has a free staff. Now what sucks here is that I didn't have... Uh, I really don't have many better staff users than this. And that's my own fault, really. If I would have just played Dwyer better, right? If I would have recruited him later, it wouldn't be an issue. 
Because if I would have picked him up, like, say, before this map, he would actually be really kick-ass, and his accuracy would be very, very good. But, because I am trash, his accuracy is, like, 70-something-ish. And what's really fun about these ninjas is that they have really good res, so have fun hitting anything magical, really. Especially stabs, right? Because their accuracy is, of course, directly affected by that. Now, the good thing about the shuriken debuffs is that they will never apply if you block the hit with a shield gauge like that. So Moses is going to preserve her speed. And since she actually got speed, that should in theory mean that even with Niles, yeah, I don't even need Odin. In theory, with just Niles, she can double in one round them. Now, I would I would kill for this guy to start with the spy shuriken equipped, dude. That would just be too convenient, I guess. Uh, horse spirit here. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like, not like that. These guys, again, they're not going to move until I get into that guy's way. So we have a little bit of opportunity for setup. Uh, Dwyer. We got to move him in. And we're about to roll our second out of three turns of straight RNG, basically. Because I have to entrap this guy. I have two chances. Well, I, I have one chance, really. Because I have one entrap with two uses, basically. And I need them both. They both have to be dealt with. And I don't have enough money to get another free staff. Okay, so we're still in this for now. Camilla can just Oko, I think. And I need her to... Well, actually, I don't. What would be smarter is to use the slow first. Yeah, we'll use the slow first. It just makes more sense. Because we debuff. Like so. Nice, nice. Uh, I could even... <laughs> in all honesty... <laughs> yeah, I mean... Right? Right, though? Because... Camilla can't get experience anymore, so what difference does it make, really? So how about that? Have a kill for Rally Man. We're never going to see the Spear Master animations any other way, really. Nice. They're very stylish. I don't know how practical that is in terms of actually fighting something, but it looks cool. We do actually want to move Camilla here, though, because that's potentially... Oh, crap. I could have dual stanced him. I could have attacked it. Oh my god, I'm so bad. So I was originally not going to give Laszlo a strength tonic, and I think I can scrounge up enough money for one by selling that vulnerary, in fact. But I realized, or I thought, I guess, I wouldn't be able to kill the automaton with an attack stance with Laszlo after he got rallied in combination with Camilla. In reality, I can, because I wasn't accounting for the Steel Axe Forge, which would give me the extra point of might to KO this guy on Camilla's dual attack, which would mean I can move here with the hand axe and kill all of these guys. God damn it! <laughs> so if I fail, when I fail, probably, because here comes RNG portion number two. Like I say, we gotta stop these spy shurikens. We have to. They debuff us too much. Now, Izana's not so bad at 83. It's Dwyer that I'm a little bit worried about, because his stamp rank is just shy. And I do mean just shy of hitting B rank. I think by the time we're done with this map, he'll be there, and that's what sucks, but what can I do? Man. Please, Dwyer. Please, Dwyer. Yes! So we can start our offensive. We can. We needed that, though, in order to even consider it. Because now I can take Elise, give her to Ophelia. Like so. She can one-round this guy with lightning, and then heal herself back a little bit. Uh, we have to use the lightning because he has counter magic, which of course he does, right? <laughs> what, what, what did you think he would have? It's obviously going to be the worst possible skill that he could. And in this case, uh, I would definitely say the counter magic qualifies as the worst possible. As you can see. You couldn't get that crit on the first one, Ophelia? Come on. Doesn't matter too much, though, because we will be getting Life Taker. We will be getting Life Taker. I can even heal her. No, I can't. But we will get Life Taker. I can use the Calamity Gate, which will give us safe. And that is how that goes, honestly. So do one of these. Uh, she gets doubled now, of course, but... Huh. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter, though, because we'll block the second hit, even in that event. And it's very unlikely that she would kill the ninja. What we're going to do with that last move here, though, is pierce Silas with Azura. And we can dance for Dwyer. Maybe that's not necessary. Maybe it's not. Do I need him to do anything or what? I say... Silas. Because he can at least shelter if he's unpaired. Well, actually, Xander could have, too. 
So yeah, it's very irrelevant. So he does go for the Spy Shuriken, which is actually the best possible thing he could have done. Yeah, that's the best possible thing he could have done. Now this guy can run up on Ophelia and get put down. Mostly. And I'm so glad we actually triggered this guy to move. That's huge. That's actually huge that they made that mistake. Going for Spy Shuriken. Yeah, because now I can kill both of them. And assuming I can land a freeze, that's that couldn't be any better. That could not be any better. But I almost can't help but wonder how much of that depended on the fact that Mozu didn't get hit before that point. I don't know that that makes a huge difference, but it very well might. Speaking of huge differences, though, we gotta go one more round at a minimum. There's one. Now, if I can hit both of them, we are looking so goddamn good, because I can probably just push through. Probably. Or, like, I don't know. I don't know. But we can we can definitely make some stuff happen if and only if Dwyer comes through right now. 73. Yes! Oh, my God. Yes, can we do it? Are we going to do it? Please, please. No, that's the one I can't miss. I can't miss that. How do I move forward now? I can't, because nobody else will move. God damn it, Flora. <laughs> that has to happen. Like, there's no possible way to proceed at this point. I, I'm so serious. I can't proceed. You can't. I can't, anyways. I'm sure if you had a million tanks, you might be able to. But I, I didn't milk enough experience to pull that off. There's no way. So my one hope is this. This guy still doesn't do a whole lot. Okay. He really doesn't. He's going to come at me with an attack power of what now? Not a lot. Five. He's going to have 40. So in reality, he's going to do two damage to Camilla. He will deal two damage to Camilla. I will not be able to be lunged into this guy's range. Because I will not allow Camilla to be in such a position to let that... To basically, I'm not going to let that happen. So if I get lunged here or here... I'm probably going to die because this Swordmaster has life and death. I mean, I kind of have to fall back on that now. Like, I do not have another play. There is no alternative. So let's rally up. Make sure we're out of his range. And hope for the best. I can't be lunge chained, though. We at the very least managed to break it. And, uh, here's to hoping, I guess. <laughs> Continue to use the hand axe, of course, because the more ninjas I kill here, the better. I cannot believe that Flora, of all people, let me down. <laughs> Why? She has really good skill, by the way, so she's fairly accurate with staves because skill does factor into that in this game. It usually doesn't. It's usually just a straight magic res check, but nope. Here it matters. Um, but I need to be really careful because this is like, this, we could win here. If we can make it past this hallway right here and Camilla does not fall over to this room, I think we win. I think that's how this goes. How many? I still have two freezes, I guess. <laughs> that's about where I'm at. I'm about ready to just throw these next two out as well. <laughs> I think I might have to. Because I got a little bit bottlenecked here. I lunge this guy. In fact, that even deals damage to the ninja. And then Mozu could actually kill him. If I take away Niles with Odin and drop him. Wait, that, that wouldn't work. No, I take with Silas, drop Niles. I then have the space to give Odin to Mozu. She can kill the ninja then. And I can even heal her if I actually needed to. And at that point, I'm no longer bottlenecked. And if I'm no longer bottlenecked, we can start making moves. Yes, <laughs> final answer. We lunge this guy. And we hopefully don't miss an 82. I really cannot. I, I really just can't. We already missed the entrap, man. Just let me have this. If nothing else, I know what to do next time. <laughs> yeah, that's about where we're at, folks. Not bad. Not bad. But yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay. So that's step one. That's no kill yet. If I just if I kill him without Mozu, I will. I didn't think I would though. Yes, that's fine. Why is Silas just too weak, man? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Rally Man on this side makes more sense, though, does it? Does it make more sense? Because if... 
But then how would I... Can't one-shot Swordmasters without him, though. And that's kind of important. I mean, I have Swordbreaker, so it's not as if I'm horribly inaccurate on these guys. Keep in mind, we still had 60 on the first Swordmasters, and they were getting plus 30 avoid. So in reality, Camilla with a Hand Axe has about a... Uh, like a 90% shot to hit them with a Hand Axe. I mean, I don't see a different start besides this. I, I really don't. We gotta, we gotta get Mozu unpaired. That's a lot. We gotta repair her with Odin. That's actually gonna bring her shield gauge quite high. How high are we talking, though? Are we talking high enough that she would still take a hit on top of this, or what? Because if she does, there's only the two ninja that could attack her. That move is confirmed. We can double this guy into oblivion. This much is free. This much we can do without any kind of second guessing ourselves. Man, where's Mozu's life taker? I mean, she is a life taker, as you see. But you know what I mean. I want the skill. I want that skill. If she gets like defense or something, that could be clutch. She actually got more speed, so that's that's good. More strength is good here too. I potioned her right. Yeah, I think my Moses is getting strength screwed. No lie. I feel like she should have more. With least giving us a total of 18 defense, there's no way we survive, huh? And I can't get an extra hit. I can't get an extra hit that's also safe. Oh, and that was a nice misplay myself. Okay, so just leave Elise on the bolt axe while we're at it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, give him weapon triangle. Good plan. Dance for Dwyer, I guess. I, I mean, I guess. Uh... Hold on, did I kill Elise? She blocks one, but gets double. Actually, hell no. If I just rally defense, she lives. That was so bad. I just I just gave up potential damage for no reason. Oh, no. She is very dead. She's very, very, very dead. God damn it all. <laughs> God damn it all. If I would have had the axe, though, she would have survived, I want to say. Um, 21 plus 7. Oh, right. They have the... No, no, no. I forgot that I was... Yeah. There was no way that that worked. There was no way that that ever worked. Oh my god, dude. So, does Camilla just win here or what, though? I want to say that she should. Like, no lie. I want to say that Camilla should win this side. So, we gotta, we gotta determine a way to get through that hallway of death. That's where we're stuck right now. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't, like, think through every single possible outcome because there's a million different ways this map could go. Like I was saying, you have to be able to actually adapt in this case. You have to actually be able to think on the fly a little bit because there's no telling what's going to happen from one run to the next. So there's the lunge. We still one-shot these guys fairly reliably. And this guy is the one with life and death, I do believe, so... In that sense, maybe we almost want to get lunged. Well, I say that, or we can just start missing 87s. That's cool too, Camilla. Actually, yeah, though, I think we want to be lunged, don't we? Because Camilla Oko's them all. Glad that's over with. So, yeah, we've actually learned a lot of things here, so I don't need to burn two in trap staffs, I guess. Not sure how we're doing this yet, though, I'll be honest. I'm going to keep it a buck. I... Ooh. No way that actually worked. Okay, so I guess Dwyer is, like, <laughs> the best possible target for the Spy Shuriken, which helps, but... Actually, no, that helps so much. That helps so much, but please let me hit this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, that helps so much. Oh, my God. Let me dodge a 78 and get a crit. How about that? How about that outcome? Damn it!
Yes, dude. Oh, shoot, man. We can do this. We can do this right now, man. I can go right through the middle, man. <laughs> I think, right? Because I can... I don't know if I want to take him on no matter what. I'm going to keep it a buck. So what I might do instead... This guy can never move, but if... Ah. Do we kill a spy shuriken? Is that what we do? Because Ophelia can move here and then gate. Mozu goes through. The whole reason she died was because I'm... Well, for one, I'm average, but... The whole reason she died was because this guy was able to reach her in combination with the ninjas. Without that, she would have lived. That is no... Oh my god, could it be? <laughs> could it actually be? And it wouldn't even matter if this guy attacked first, because I would just have a gauge, so... Calamity gate, this wall, final answer. Uh, let's see how this plays out, I guess. Please, please, tell me I've done this correctly. No more spy shuriken bullshit. We have somewhere to go on the next turn, which is the huge part about this because this hallway is no, 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 no. That's that's a no-go. <laughs> Can't do that. I think it is better to draft these guys. Oh, we hit every single stab. Every single one. So we rally. We murk this kid. Okay. Okay. Is this going to be it? <laughs> Finally. <laughs> please just let this be it, man. Okay, uh, hand exit is... Good night. I just don't... I don't want to move these guys. <laughs> They're just going to die. We can unfair these two. Xander won't die. Like, he might actually serve a purpose here. No lie. Because he still does, like, half to all the ninjas. And if attack stance wants to come through, uh, that might be a worthwhile idea at some point. But the rest of these... I'm so scared to move Odin. Like, what happens if Odin gets attacked, do you think? How dead do you think he is? For the love of all that is good in this world. For the love of all that is good in this world, man. Please don't crit me. I, I could have just pushed through the middle, but I do not want any of that great club action. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm trying to live out here. <laughs> now, annoyingly, uh, we are fighting these guys on stairs tiles. Oh, why didn't I lunge now, though? The only reason I didn't lunge the first time was because we didn't KO the damn... The automaton, so I should be having 93s here, which is my own fault. So when we fail this time, no doubt, uh, I will lunge the ninja in this position so as to not give them plus 10 avoid. Poor thing. We don't really need to be any closer than this, though. Honestly, we take on all the sword masters. The gate should keep me safe here. I was really hoping for a sick dodge there, Ophelia. Ooh! Ooh, is this it? This is so it. This is so it. This is 100% the win right here. There's no possible, no, 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 no. And the cool thing about the spy shuriken, for me in this case, is that it can't double. Huh? So no matter what, as long as the person that I have in the hallway can take at least one hit, uh, we cannot die to that ninja no matter how long we give him, so that's good. Ophelia, the greatest. Oh, of course they start moving in. Let me get this dodge, though. Damn it, Mozu. Oh, well. I say that, though, but there does go my ability to double these guys. This guy can't double me, though, which is the only thing that mattered. Okay. Okay. This might still look pretty bad because it is. However, uh, however, <laughs> I don't care. I feel like I can take as long as I want now. It's really just getting this far. That is the huge problem with this map. You have to get this far. <laughs> like, if you can't get past the hallway, you're not beating the map. You just aren't. There's no two ways about it. Oh, I guess the Wakazashi reduces avoid, perhaps? Because I have way more attack, or way more accuracy, I mean. I just don't want to choke this away, man. <laughs> I don't want to choke this away. Ophelia even came through with the critical hit. Now, why on earth would you ever consider the sword catcher here? You're asking for it. Let me get an Astra or something. This guy deserves to die. Oh, fine, whatever. Whatever. You know, Odin might actually be able to... <laughs> he might be able to get him. And truth be told, I still have two freeze now. And I'm so ready to just throw another one to the spy shuriken, dude. I really am. All right, we're going through. We're going through. I probably want to do this anyway. Oh, my... Wait! Oh, the slow. No kidding. Who the hell is this? What happened to... <laughs> What happened? It doesn't kill the mage, Laszlo. I know he's got life and death, but... 
Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> how embarrassing. Uh, if I... <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that really threw me off. I never would have seen that coming. Here comes anything but speed. Oh my god, it's getting nothing but speed today. Yeah, the ladies are going crazy. I'm going crazy. Shoot. <laughs> oh my god. Please don't choke this away. <laughs> if I move in with... See, if I get lunch to there, then I can be lunch changed to here. I don't want to move, dude. <laughs> I don't want to move, man. But if I... Here's the thing with this last room as well, by the way. You can see that if I attack this guy... Well, no. If I if I kill him with a hand axe, it's fine, I suppose. But the thing is, if you attack this guy right here, this automaton that is be attacking from melee, right? You can easily get lunged into range of Saizo, which is bad. I, I think that doesn't need to be said, does it? Now, how bulky is Camilla at this point? Not really all that. Uh, I'll have 32 on the next turn. Zero, zero. I know it says 38, but trust me, zero, zero. Uh, a lot, and I can't afford to miss that, but I won't because I have Swordbreaker. And then by this point, I can block. So, in we go. I fi I hope, I really do. Sure would be a lot nicer if these guys wanted to move, but I know that's not gonna happen. What we want to do, I'm going to leave these guys alive until we can defeat Ryoma. Which, he's, he's Camilla food. Because she has Swordbreaker and a dual club, so like, what could he really have ever done? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what possible way is there for him to defeat her? I'm looking for the way, I can't find it. I don't think I even break this one. Flora. <laughs> Golly. Well, I guess I know what she's doing for the next few turns. She did her job, and that's all I can really ask for. I almost ended my turn forgetting about this whole situation. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can just kill these guys, though. There's very little chance. Horse Spirit should still not do enough. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is the Great Club guy, though. So if he's dead, there's actually no threat. We attack the Master of Arms, because if he dies, then I can even use Xander for an attack stance here. He takes very little from either of these guys to keep it a buck. So if I... Okay, so I guess the question is, how do we choke this away then? Because you just know it's gonna happen. Why can't I... Oh, he has Axe Breaker. I'm saying, though. That would make a lot more sense. Oh, uh, we still have some time with Xander here before he's really dead, <laughs> so... Oh, God bless this game. What an amazing game. Oh, my God. People don't like this game? Are you serious? <laughs> Uh, I'm killing the Great Club guy. That much is free. That much is free, and it needs to happen, because we can't kill him on enemy base, because he has a certain blow. And the other one, what's it called? Not Savage Blow. There's so many blowing abilities in this game. What light is this? He had the other one, though, the, the one that boosts your critical. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but there's there's a skill that boosts your critical by 30%. And we saw that great help that great club had uh 55%, I do believe. A 55% crit rate, that is. And uh, that is really not what I'm looking for right about now, if you feel me. I just it's not my scene really. Uh if I throw this javelin, I cannot Oh, yeah, that's not even the right character. There's one, but then if I did it from that position, I could not dance with Azura. Did I throw? Wait, wait. Hold on now. Oh, please, for the love of God, tell me I understand this correctly. Azura dances you, Odin takes Elise, kills this guy. This guy gets Savage Blow. Xander could then kill. We still have Ophelia right here, who has been danced for at this point. She can't be one shot. She's got 19 defense still. There's no possible way, and she won't get doubled. Final answer, let's do it! <laughs> okay, Elise, do exactly as I say. He has Axe Breaker, but that's irrelevant because... 
Now is this... Yes, we need to kill the one in this room. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> no way, are we gonna do it? Oh my god, don't choke this away, Delta. Please, just... Just don't. <laughs> just don't. We've been at this for so long. Oh, this is genuine excitement. I... Last time I played this map... Uh, I cheesed the hell out of it, so... <laughs> This is the first for me. Uh, oh. Please, please, Xander. 85. Come on, not now. Mozu 93. Oh my god, that's it. Well done. That's it. Well done, Xander. In case you thought he was bad or something by this point. No. No, he's still broken. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Uh, so we will kill this guy. Okay. Okay. That's right. <laughs> God, I'm feeling so good. I don't know. Do you guys think she's the best kid? I think she probably is. I know I saw some people make a pretty good argument for Kana. I, I was giving him crap, but I just I just think it's funny that dude acts like she doesn't know the guy. He's a he or she even is a very good uh a very good unit, very good unit for the same reasons as Wire is really. Uh, Kana's a little bit more flexible though. I feel because you can have. You can, like, realistically afford to pick him or her up, like, immediately. Whereas with Dwyer, I would almost say you want to wait, just because if you don't, like, raising him as a staff user is just no good, really. Uh, Kana, though, can be pretty tanky. Uh, she can do basically everything the dude does. Honestly. The Sun Festival. Should have given that boy over to Izana. But we didn't. That's fine, too. Uh, so we can chill right here. I do think Ophelia is probably the best though, right? Because uh, magic users this good are not really that common in Fates. They're really just not. Give me another one. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Leo's very good, don't get me wrong, but barring this, your best alternative is Nyx. So don't get me wrong, she has a lot of uses. However, let's not forget, she is an extreme glass cannon. The Nosferatu is essentially useless on her. And she has a lot of skill issues as well. I mean, I'm using Elise, so what can I really say? But, and I guess what it comes down to is the 90-something percent chance that I have to hit this guy. If I miss him at this point, you'll probably never hear from me again. <laughs> probably not. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, Camille, if you ruin this for me at this point, I mean, honestly, what could I do? What could I do other than not miss? So how do you guys feel about this map in general, though? I mean, obviously, it's very, very difficult. Very difficult. Worth every bit of infamy to its name. No doubt. But for me personally, I think if it wasn't for the fact that you can miss at any moment and it's never good, <laughs> like, it's always going to be game-changing when it happens, you know what I mean? I think that fact alone... Uh, brings this map down a notch or two. Now, these guys actually don't have lunch, so what if I... What if I put somebody out there again? Because now I can push through these guys finally, and I'm gonna kill the Spy Shuriken guy. I don't necessarily have to in the strictest sense. Uh, however, screw him, right? <laughs> Did you see how many free stabs I needed to just make him a non-issue? So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. We can definitely do that. Let's break down the wall now. Yeah, let's break down this old wall. And I can push left as well at this point, pretty safely. Bozu. Now, th these guys do actually not have any way to retaliate at two range, thankfully. But, uh, if I was going to do that, I should move in like so. I should be able to... No, I can't horse spirit him still. I'm going to be honest, though. I just don't want to choke so badly that I think we're going to play this out uh, a little bit uh, carefully, if you don't mind. <laughs> we can break down the wall at least. I think Silas is safe. Um, Sander can draw the Master Ninja to the wall. And then Moses should be able to shoot over it, finish him off before we even get into that room. And from there, we just gotta deal with the bosses. Oh, he's starting to get so good. If you if he was this good at the start of the map, though, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. So we'll move there. I'll Calamity Gate. Maybe we kill him, maybe we don't. Doesn't really make a huge difference. We don't, but that's fine. I can still dance for her, and 
now that Ophelia is next to the ninja, we can 100% kill him thanks to the old and heart seeker. Uh, thankfully, mm, yeah, I don't know. To get back to this map, though, it's really fortunate that Mozu didn't catch too many shuriken. Which is honestly the biggest issue with this map. It can go so many different ways. Just depending on the roll of the dice, really. No reinforcements or anything like that, thank God, though. That, I will say that. That's one thing about this map that could most certainly be worse. There could have definitely been reinforcements out the ass, but there's not, so... Uh, do these guys have displayed crit on Xander? No. This guy does, of course. God bless. Okay, so that's what's happening then. I'm rallying the hell out of Xander. He's gonna pull the spy shuriken dude to the wall in such a way the Mozu can swing through. If I need to heal her, so be it. But now we have the time to do that. Yeah, most certainly. We really didn't have any time to slow down for any... Oh, no, 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 no. God damn it. I didn't want to do that. I needed her under level... No, we're finishing this right now. If we're, if I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna do it in my own time. We're we're wrapping this one up, folks. There's no way I didn't even rally him. That's how much I want this to be over. <laughs> okay, if I live through this last turn, please, oh God, please, just go my way. <laughs> please, oh please, just let this go my way. That's all. Come on, man. Come on, man. The ninja, or I mean the, the samurai into the automaton does not kill Camilla even still. Especially considering one of these will be blocked. Hopefully, oh, I was really hoping that he would block the, uh, well, I guess this is actually better, isn't it? I guess so. I just, I don't know. We're still out of Saizo's range, though, and that's the huge part about this. Because if you get lunged into his range and you also get uh, seal defense, you're done. Like, it made no mistake. That is it. Good game. But that's not what happened, thank God. Now, of course, we could still miss an 87, in which case, as I say, I'm out. <laughs> We're done if that happens. Camilla. Okay, she got it. Thank God. Are we done? That's over with. Oh, my God. Music to my ears. <laughs> Could not agree anymore, Camilla. I'm glad this is over with. Never return here. Yeah, this is safe for Mozu as well. And I, I do need her to kill Kagura, though. However, this guy cannot retaliate upon me. Or rather, the next uh, ninja cannot hit me. Well, both, I guess. Yeah, he can't retaliate and it can't be hit, so it's even better. Uh, strength, please. Yeah, I have a really strength screwed Mozu, I'm not gonna lie. She should have more than that. She was a level 16 archer when she promoted. Uh, and I know Kinchis aren't quite as good as the dang... ...as snipers. But so what, man? <laughs> Where's the rest of your stats? I thought aptitude was good. What's going on? But alas... Oh, she doesn't even need help to do it now. I mean, she doesn't... Yes, yeah, she does, though. Yeah, she actually does cleanly destroy him. Her, even. Yeah, she... My God, Kagero's very clearly... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> let's just... Let's just end this, man. I guess we give Odin over to Ophelia. Just... Uh, I, I don't know why. I don't have any explanation for you. My brain's kind of stopped functioning about the third time Silas failed me. Yeah, that's how that's going to happen, but not not right now. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Let's build up some gauge. Oh, I can't get enough, can I? No matter what. Yeah, you know, I, I just don't care at this point. I do not care. I, I need to, uh... We need to heal back Camilla a bit. We can do that over the next two rounds. Uh, I do actually need Laslo and his little rally there. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. We can come in from that way. I need this rally, though, because Camilla is going to be one away without it. Which is no good. We want to win, after all. That's what we're here to do. Uh, so, move like there. And that's where he needs to be to hit the treasure as well. Now, we merely need to not die, <laughs> which is still a tall order, I will admit. Because even if I get hit, I'm still not being doubled by either of them. Neither of them can Oko me. And at that point, I would have a gauge to prevent the others. So let's just do this. 
I can't believe I got her to 18. That makes me so mad, actually. I deliberately said that we need to not get her past that point. But here we are. I guess, no, well, maybe there's alternatives. I don't know. I don't know. One more round of this crap. All right, she's actually not going to kill it because I need the quick draw for that, don't I? That's okay, though. Can't let you do that. Perfectly fine. I can kill Kagero. Like, that, I'm 100% on. I can for sure kill it with Bozu. Uh, I would like to heal her twice. Why did I not take Dwyer? Like, am I am I new? I thought Mozu was a bad unit. What happened? <laughs> Why is Mozu my carry? Did you see that? She beat this whole side by herself, practically. Yeah, this is how we get this done. Finally! Did you guys know that there's actually boss conversations on this map? I know, crazy, right? Do what you will, Norian. We cannot afford to lose. Even if our fate is worse than death, we will never give up on Lord Vioma. Crit, crit, Astra, crit, Astra, crit, Astra. <laughs> okay, that works too. And we obviously wanted to be in her face for the sake of Heartseeker. And now with that, though, there's really no possible way. There is no possible way. It's true, there's no possible way, yes. What? Unless I crit and then like, oh no, there's really, oh! I will take care of you. Oh! <laughs> God, stop game, just let me, just let me have this. Again. Oh, this is it, this is the end. Lord Ryama, Saizo, it was an honor to fight beside you both. Yeah, Kagero and Saizo do actually die. See, that one I knew. <laughs> if only I could have lived to see Hoshido achieve true peace. Didn't you guys start this fight, or did I imagine that? I don't know. It's been a long time since the beginning of this map, so my memory is a little hazy. No, I can't. Like, they, n neither of them can die. Neither of them can die. Even just simply moving in is risking death. So let's not, and let's just go ahead and head this way. And here's sort of another unfortunate part about this map, though, and this is where you can see it in full effect. Uh, the hit rates, man. This is Camilla you're talking about. This is Camilla you're talking about. Now, she does Oko with the uh, the forge, but it's still only at a 67% rate and we can't really do better. Not really. Uh, well, there's also a 1% chance that I die regardless of skill. So there's that, <laughs> thank you game. I gave her the icon I thought, but I guess that wasn't enough. Please, please, we will not surrender. No matter how grim things seem, I believe in Hoshino. I believe in Lord Ryoma. If you 1% me, ooh, that would be it. That'd be it for me, fam. Camilla, Camilla, Camilla. She got him. She got him! <laughs> Still not good enough. Screw you, man. How good do I need to be? She has capped out on everything. What are this guy's standards? <laughs> okay, no, he's talking about himself, I'm sure. I'm sure that he is. Because he's training to be like the next Saizo, right? Saizo is both his name and the title. Fun fact. I have failed, Lord Ryoma. And Saizo's supposed to be like master of all master ninjas, basically, as far as I'm aware. Because that's the whole thing with Asugi, right? He doesn't want to be the next Saizo. I have failed, Lord Ryoma. Though I must die, my words remain true. I will always believe in Hoshino. We will win this war. The world will one day know peace. So, now I think Ryoma might, no? Okay, well here's the thing, I'm still not doing anything with that until I'm sure I can kill him. I'm not going for the chest, I'm not going for this chest basically. Because I'm gonna grab it right before Ryoma dies. Well, not even really conserved. I feel like I was still moving about as fast as I possibly could have. That's the thing, this map is just that hard. <laughs> Pulls no punches. Next one is a lot more bearable, in my opinion. I know a lot of people don't like that one either, which... I don't know, I'd have to play it to really understand that, I guess. I can definitely understand why people would not like this map. I think it's mostly good, but like I say, those hit rates just... Oh, man. Oh, man, it almost feels like you're supposed to have Shuriken Breaker, but that's not really a solution in my opinion. Because at the end of the day, if you get popped, then you get popped, and there goes your whole offense. Not to mention that, what, there's Niles and Severa, right? Those are the two that could pop... Not Severa, Selena. You know what I mean. Those are the two that could probably get it pretty easily. There's the 10,000 gold, hey. Uh, yeah, those are the two that could probably get it pretty easily, but the problem is that none of them can deal with ninjas at their own game, you know? How are you, like, how are you defeating a ninja with with Niles at one to two range? 
granted, I suppose he'd be really good on this side. I'll say that, because he could attack over the wall. But on the left side, he would be borderline useless. He's never killing them with the Shining Bow. I guess he probably... No, 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 no. That wouldn't even work very well, would it? Because the Shining Bow nerfs your avoid. So inevitably, they would hit you. By the way, uh, we do no damage to Ryoma. I, I didn't really get to show this because I don't have a weapon. But within this room, uh, Ryoma and Dude both deal a quarter of their regular damage to one another. So... What it means is that if you want a 1v1 Ryoma, it basically takes some time unless you get a lucky crit or something like that. Uh, Lance using classes again, they have a very easy time because a Killer Lance Dragon Fang crit will probably just kill Ryoma. Uh, so if you have a Lance using class and you're at this point, it's really just an inevitability that you can win. <laughs> Whether or not you can get the rest of this stuff, I don't know. That just kind of depends, as you can see. But as far as actually killing him, it should be fairly safe uh, for any Lance using class. And... If I use this Dragon Vein right now with Dude... <laughs> Hold on, Ryoma. I'll be right back. Yeah, so we use this with Dude. And that's going to trigger this chamber to become Midas of Void Tiles, which gives us even that much more reliability in destroying him. Of course, <laughs> yeah, I just realized, though, that... No, he doesn't move yet. I'm sure he doesn't. He still waits patiently for 20 turns no matter what. As ridiculous as that may sound, he, he certainly does. This map truly earns its reputation, let me just say that. This map earns its reputation. I'm actually sweating. I don't know if that's because it's actually sort of hot for once, or if it's just because this map is driving me insane. Okay, so there's most of his life, and he has no real chance to hit me, and I might even be avoiding the penalty, truth be told. You know why I'm hesitating. Like, you, you already know why. Because you see those... You see that crit rate, and the fact that it exists. And he also has Ren Heaven. Now, as we saw with Kagro... Just because you trigger a skill does not mean you will automatically hit. But let's say he did, right? Doesn't Camilla just... She definitely does, yeah. <laughs> Dude has special conversations with this guy. Yeah, so we can do that. Camilla, please. 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 Only an honorless boar would interfere with a duel. Wait, where'd she go? <laughs> Wait, who are you? Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Yes, so... Okay. Oh yeah, he also has a lot of really scary skills. So Astra and Ren Heaven, which naturally... He also has Duelist Blow still, Sword Fair, and Resist Status, which is a unique skill for bosses only. Which is why that Savage Blow did basically nothing, even though it should have done, in theory, 11. We also got the Silent Staff right there. I, I didn't even mention that because I'm, I was so sure that he was going to blow me back. That's no lie. He doesn't have... Yeah, I'm surprised he doesn't have Vantage, though, actually. But, um, I tire of this, so... Come on. It's time, dude. Show me the power you use to slay our sister. Or does the Yada repel at your touch now that your heart and soul are dead? Big Ooh, it's, that's hardcore. <laughs> Ryoma, stop this. I don't want to fight you. I can explain all of this, even Hinoka. Please listen to me. Ha! As though I would allow you to distract me with false remorse. How dare you pretend to be my sister after killing Hinoka? You are nothing to me, just a filthy coward like the rest of your kingdom. I've said all I wish to say to you. Nothing you can do will sway me. You are no sister of mine, Norian Princess. Watch as my blade takes back whatever Hoshin and blood remains in you. <sighs> Ryoma, no, that's that's kind of hardcore. Wait. <laughs> wait. Wait. I was kind of hoping that she would nail it, but that's fine. I'm sorry. Never return. <laughs> I'm so done with this. My kingdom, my honor, all is lost. Except for this level up, hopefully we can get strength. That'd be cool. Hey. This is my chance. Strength corn at it again, man. Okay. <sighs> I need a minute. <laughs> it's actually over. It's actually over. It's the first time I've done that. Normally, I just have a dude or a dude. I have corn strong enough to just do it though. So uh, the one thing that I don't like about this map, like I said, is definitely the accuracy and... Or, or less in dealing damage, but I hate... I hate that hallway of death. At the end of the day, I can't think of a better way to do it other than to stop those spy shuriken guys. I, I really can't, other than to freeze them in place. There's just... Or entrap them, I guess, but it's, it's the same difference, really. The freeze has better accuracy, though. Uh, which is why I wanted to use that on the ninjas, because they are... 
a bigger threat, in my opinion. Uh, the lunge chain, though, that needs to be broken as well. There's, I do not think there's a way around that. You either have to entrap one of the automatons or, or freeze him, I guess, and then just have a bunch of people over there. But if you don't break that chain, you're going to die <laughs> for sure. It's definitely about the point in the game where you really want to start breaking out the status, I want to say. It's probably for the best. There's a bunch of free stabs in the shop, though. They're pretty cheap as well at only 1800 I want to say. Uh, even cheaper if you get a staff user in the store, right? So you can get them for like 1600 or so, I want to say. But if you can nail the hits, like, like, all right, if this if this map existed in Fire Emblem Heroes, it would be fine. Let me put it that way. I, I kind of would like a Fire Emblem game without hit rates. Honestly, I think that would be cool. I do, because then you wouldn't have maps like this being so terrible. Potentially terrible, because honestly, if everything would have just went my way from the start, if I would have connected the crucial attacks, I, I still missed some, I think, but if I would have been able to hit all the crucial attacks, then this whole thing would have been a lot smoother, you know what I mean? It's just the fact that you can't really count on anything, and you also can't afford to get stuck in that hallway. That is the hardest part of this map, in my opinion. The left side, pff, whatever. Whatever, man. Saizo's always a joke. But it's Kagero, man. She and her bullshit spy shuriken asshole ninjas. <laughs> I hate him. I hate him. I hate The lunch chain itself is pretty clever, though. I, I kind of like that. I, I like it from a gameplay standpoint because it forces you to pay attention to that. Not only where the enemies are, but where you could potentially end up as well with that lunge skill. Remember how somebody said that I was going to be strength sealed or whatever? Yeah, did that happen? Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> that's what I thought. But, it's important to realize that if you fail to kill the ninjas ever, you lose 40% of your health on the spot, regardless of your defense. It's also important to remember that raw defense will only get you so far because they're going to debuff you. And if you have somebody like Benny who just relies on raw defense with no real avoidance to him, that's not going to work out for you. Not in the long term anyways, not in the you're very, very careful with how you do things, and ensure that he's also one-shotting uh, all of the ninjas through attack stance, more likely than not. Uh, because if he has to eat that 40%, even he's going down here. Anybody's going down here if they have to eat that 40%, and I don't think that that in itself is what makes this annoying. It really is just the missing. It really is just the missing, because even if you do everything right, even if you plan your moves down to the last, bottom line... You missed the wrong attack, you're dead. <laughs> because they can just chunk you for 40%. And that's a very, very big difference, right? If I was going to live the round on, like, 5 HP or something like that, but then, oops, I missed, and I can still be attacked, then I'm probably dead. That's really my only big beef with this map. I don't know if it's really possible <laughs> to, like, crank up your accuracy that much higher. I guess you could buy skill and luck tonics for everybody, but that's so expensive. I don't see where that's practical. And, and I did buy some for, like, Silas and Xander, so... It's not as if I didn't consider that. It's just that they they only do so much. I don't know. What do you guys think about this map? I'm sure a lot of people might have some similar feelings because I know this one is very, very ridiculous. <laughs> as I'm no doubt proven. Hoshino has fallen. I'm a disgrace to my people. Dude, kill me. Do it now. Once you do, the war is over. Please end my suffering and let me join Hinoka. No. I can't do that, Ryoma. She's alive, you idiot! What? Are you really going to deny me even the mercy of a quick death? Big brother. My brother, to kill you now would not reunite you with Hinoka. I did not kill her, Ryoma. She's still alive. This must be a trick of some kind. No. It isn't. She and I fought, but I refused to kill her, just as I refused to kill you. I couldn't do it. It may cost me my life and my mission, but she's too precious to me. I knew father would not tolerate there being any survivors, so I lied. I made it seem as though she were dead and told her to hide until the war was over. That's why I took her Lance's proof. If I had really killed her, don't you think we would have taken her head instead? That's true. I suppose. But how can I trust you after all you've done? I am so sorry. I'm sorry, Ryoma. I don't know what else to say. I know you have no good reason to take me at my word, but I swear it's the truth. Sakura and Yukimura were taken prisoner, but at least they're still alive. Takami fell, but his body is missing. I'm sure he's out there somewhere. I want to save you too, Ryoma. I don't want anyone else to die. Please, brother, I would rather I would rather die than lie to you a moment longer. The truth is that I'm not your enemy. All I've done has been for the good of us all. Dude. I Wow. <laughs> Quiet, father's approaching. Let me say all that I need to say. I want nothing more than to save you in this kingdom. I promised Tanoka I would. 
You may hate me, but know that no matter what happens, you'll always be my brother. Because why would he... Why would he listen to her? You know what I mean? Because, like, at first, it was... As far as Ryoma's concerned, dude probably did kill Hinoga. Like, she's been with Noor. She essentially betrayed all of their trust right at the beginning of the game. Been a constant thorn in their side throughout the entire adventure. So, somebody explain to me, why on earth would Ryoma actually stop and listen to her? Really? I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm dead ass serious. Why would he? Why would he? Now he has to because he lost. So, that makes sense. He has no choice but to listen to anything we want to say. We could start singing songs and shit. He'd have no choice but to deal with that, okay? He lost. I don't know. I just don't see why this one gets flack. I don't. I also don't see why the corresponding scene of Birthright gets flack. At least in a vacuum. In a vacuum. You know. If you take it as a, like a sum of its parts or whatever, if you take this in context with the full game, sure, whatever. Uh, it still doesn't suddenly make the game great when it comes to storytelling, but I think this is a perfectly fine scene as far as I'm aware. You may hate me, but know, but know that no matter what happens, you'll always be my brother. What's this? I could have sworn I saw the Yano light up for a moment. Could it be? Is she telling the truth? I wonder. I'm also bleeding out. Maybe it was an illusion. It's over. Father, the battle is over. Hoshido's High Prince is at death's door. Well done. Well done, my daughter. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Now it's time to cement that which you have waited so long for. Once you seize the throne, the map will be complete. Wait, <laughs> this kingdom will finally belong to Nor. I see. Yes, but first, I shall bear witness to you as you kill Prince Ryoma. Huh? Huh? Are you deaf, child? Kill Prince Ryoma. I forbid anyone else from taking your glory. Deal the final blow yourself. No. But father, what purpose does it serve? Prince Ryoma can no longer fight. We've won the war. Why not force him to drown in his disgrace rather than needlessly take his life? To watch our king ascend to his throne is surely more torturous than death. What? Foolish girl, have you learned nothing? Rebellions are like seeds. One must salt the earth before they sprout. You have uttered those very words yourself. Or was your change of heart a lie? Uh, it wasn't, I just... Oh. Oh my! What is the meaning of this? Could it be that you lied to your king? If you lied about that, perhaps you lied about Princess Hinoka too. What have you done, dude? <laughs> dude, come on, dude! <laughs> have you betrayed Nor after all? No. You're wrong. I've proven my allegiance to Nor over and over again. <laughs> She's not wrong about that, though. I don't, I don't understand why Nor would have reason to doubt her any more than Hoshino would have to believe her. Well, then. You know, okay, okay I guess in that sense it does, I, I can see some of the criticism. I haven't seen this specific one. I'm, I'm kind of playing devil's advocate here a little bit. But it does kind of raise the question that both these situations exist at the same time, right? Like, Hoshino thinks she's a liar, but Nor also thinks she's a liar, because you would think that those actions would be polar opposites of each other, right? Everything that she would do to make one side be a liar, you would think that you would think that it would make the other side believe that she is telling the truth. On the other hand, Iago and Garon are far from rational, so... <laughs> and I mean, that's pretty well established, I should think. So, I don't know, I don't know. I still don't think it bothers me, though, to be honest. I can't... It, it doesn't feel as though it's that big of an issue. Then prove it one last time. Someone as strong as you should have no trouble ending a life in one strike, right? How does he know? It's like he knew my boon. Do it. Kill him now. I will not be kept waiting. Do it now or be branded a traitor and condemn yourself and your troops to death. <sighs> Father, you're being really unreasonable. Dude. Ryoma, I... I... Yeah, I thought there was a cutscene here. What's going on? Am I remembering this wrong? <sighs> Enough of this. Princess Dude is clearly a trait. Please, wait. wait. Oh, he said it, not me. Mm hmm? Hmm? Listen. I know what must be done, and I will not allow a Norian to do it for me. I will end this war my way. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Have you gone mad from despair? Big Brother? Ryoma? Thank you. Thank you, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so this kind of ruins this cutscene. <laughs> or maybe it makes it way better. I haven't decided yet. Thank you, dude. I finally understand. It's alright. Everything will be alright. 
my beloved sister. Uh? Ryoma, no, don't! I'm counting on you, dude. I will trust you. Goodbye. I cannot fall into the hands of an enemy, so I... <laughs> Fulfill the samurai's... <laughs> Final duty! In all honesty, guys, uh, to give it a buck with you all, I like this scene. I, yeah, I do. <laughs> I really do. I don't have any problems with it, not really. Can't think of any, and I'm not gonna sit here and rack my brain just to try and take issue with it. Of course, like I said, it doesn't salvage everything for me, but wh what it really is is that scenes like this are pretty well handled, I think, and if anything, it just means that the rest of the game kinda is, it's kinda disappointing. It's kind of disappointing that the same amount of effort wasn't placed into the rest of the game. You know, because this is, this is exactly the kind of death that would have made something like Lilith meaningful, right? Because Ryoma's been around since the beginning of the game. He's been harassing us since the beginning of the game. I mean, uh, with good intentions in mind, sure. But, needless to say, we've had more than a few encounters with this guy. And... Even if we hadn't, we already know that he means something, right? Because he is supposed to be the relative of Dude. So, we have a character who's important. They have a fun challenge- well, <laughs> Fun is kind of stretching the definition depending on your take. If you like watching me get my ass kicked, then I suppose this- Oh yeah, this is a great map. <laughs> but, you see what I'm saying? There was- there was weight to this. This meant something. If the rest of the game carried weight like this, I feel like it would just have been a much stronger experience. Not that I don't... Not that I want to say that they shouldn't have tried other things. I'm not opposed to the idea of them trying something with Lilith. But... It, it just sort of lessens the overall impact of something like this. Because they already tried it. And it when they tried it the first time, it just wasn't very... It wasn't very strong. So now looking at a scene like this, it's hard... If you've already... How should I phrase it? If you've already lost interest, then... No matter how good of a scene that they come up with in the end of the game, it's just not gonna mean anything to the average person. You know? I, I will say that... Even when I first played this, I... I sort of came around a little bit, but I I still don't finish... I, I still don't think it finishes incredibly strong or anything, but this is definitely the strongest moment in Conquest, without a doubt, in my opinion. That's my two cents. This can't be. Ryoma. It's also just kind of hardcore for Fire Emblem in general, because when do they ever show somebody actually committing suicide? I know Takumi jumped off the wall, but even then we didn't see him hit the ground or anything. This, this is just straight up Ryoma impaling himself, you know? <laughs> it's pretty, pretty brutal. Ryoma, my brother. Your Majesty. King Garon, do you accept this travesty? Lady Dew did not kill the prince as you so clearly commanded. Hmm. True, but I will accept this victory nonetheless. Prince Ryoma is dead, as is Hoshino. Victory belongs to Nor. At long last, I am now king of everything and everyone. <laughs> I am so evil! <laughs> See, he's gonna do it for me. <laughs> See, that, this, and that's the sort of thing that just takes you out of it, you know? Because he's just such a mustache twirler, man. No. Dude, where are you going? Dude, wait. Speaking of takes you out of it. <laughs> okay, but that one's my fault, though. That one's my fault. Garon is actually like this. can't cry. I must stay strong. If I cry now, Ryoma's sacrifice will have been in vain. I am King Garon's child, a cold heartless princess. That is my disguise. I can't falter. I chose to follow my heart, to walk the path of darkness. I am Dude the Traitor. 
and so I must remain until the bitter end. I must rejoice in the sorrow of my enemies. I must revel in their deaths. I have no right to cry over Ryoma. Over my... my brother. No, I can't. I mustn't. Why is this happening? Ryoma, brother! Dude. Chill. Azura. Couldn't protect him. I promised Inoka I'd save him, that we'd be all be a family again one day. But it was all a lie, just like everything in my life. All I do is hurt the ones I love. Hush now, dude, it's okay. I know you couldn't keep that promise you made to Hinoka, but don't forget about the new promise you made to Ryoma. A new promise? Truly. That's right. Remember his last words. He said, I'm counting on you. That was him entrusting the future of Hoshido to you. Those aren't just empty words from one enemy to another. In the end, he realized what you're trying to achieve and recognized you as his sister. That's why he said what he said, and why he did what he did. Ryoma. Listen. My brother. He smiled as he died. He smiled just for you. He was proud of you, dude. Don't waste his sacrifice. You will fulfill his promise, won't you? His dying wish? Yeah. You're right. I did make him... I did make him a promise. And as long as I'm alive, I will keep it. I won't let you down, Ryoma. You've become so strong, dude. What are you now, anyways? Level 17? Oh, she Jesus, Rua. We're almost to the end. Once King Garon sits on the throne, everyone will learn the truth. We're so close. But for just just a brief moment, may I cry with you? Hard map, good story, good music. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Peace. Ugh.